Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. So we're going to go ahead and get the Februarys out of the way, and then we're going to go back to the weeklies. So let's just see what we got for the month of February. This could happen at any time in February. So... What do we have for February? One card as an overall energy, please, for Taurus. What do we have for the month of February? Uh, that, was a, that was a few of them. I don't want to get through. It was a three of swords, so there could be some sorrow. But it was in the reverse, so it could be leaving some pain behind. That was the bottom card. So you may be leaving some pain behind, leaving the past hurts behind on the path to healing, on the path to recovery in February. So what do we have? What do we have for Taurus, please? Oh, well, take a look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Destined change. So your life is changing for the better. This is good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. You may be dealing with a mechanic. Perhaps. Um... But this is, this is you, one chapter of your life is ending, a new one is beginning. This is good luck. This is very positive change. So whatever is happening, it's, 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 it looks like it's fun. It looks like it's a good time. It looks like it's fun. Um, somebody's chasing, the, maybe you got somebody chasing after you, or, you know, I don't know, chasing destiny by the looks of things, because the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So you definitely have a positive change this month. Um, luck is on your side. Let's get a couple of these. That's the wheel of life, you know, that is spinning you in a new direction. And because you are going with it, something very positive is going to happen. Now, that is that, that could be serendipity. So, you know, this wheel of fortune, something uh, happening, you know, spur of the moment. Take that one. Right place, at the right place, at the right time. Maybe I have to get your car inspected in a new place. Or, I don't know why I thought that. Or maybe you need something to do with your tires. Maybe your tires rotated. I don't know. What do we, what, and if you're a man watching this, maybe you're chasing after something. This is chasing. It looks like there's somebody is, it could be chasing, chasing something. Which is interesting. Anyway, what do we have for Taurus? That darn ring does not want to stay on. Guess I'm going to have to get another one. Hand. Interesting. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. You could also be dealing with somebody that begins with the name of, or the letter M. Their name begins with a letter M. Um, but, Somebody's probably going to be giving you a hand this month. Boat. <laughs> Money or property through an investment. I don't know. It doesn't say investment, but that's what came out of my mouth. Money or property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. I mean, it could be also, I don't know, maybe it's an investment because that's what came out of my mouth. Fortune is fortune as well. So you are going to be getting some money or property through something, okay? And you're going to be needing assistance by the looks of things. I'm willing to bet that you are. You could be at the right place at the right time and meet somebody, you know, and it could be serendipity. So, ha! Huh. may have something to do with your property. I don't know. Let's find out. What's this? This is the Angel Romance deck. We're going to see what we got for love. Oh, I guess we got to take that one, huh? It's safe for you to love. Okay. All right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe for you to love, Taurus. That's a message you need to hear this month. I feel like you have somebody that is chasing after you. And you are being called to open your heart and trust this person. You may, you may have met this person already or you're going to meet them during this month. Okay, they're going to be helping you with something. And maybe you just need to have faith and trust. 
you know, Wheel of Fortune is about destiny. This is meant to happen. So this is very positive. This is the Wheel of Life. It's destiny. It's karma. It's good luck. So something very good is coming for you. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and just try to open your heart. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? February. Positive change. One chapter has ended. A new one is beginning. Five of Wands reversed. Justice. Getting what you deserve. Karma. Balance. This is the end of some sort of battle. Done, done, right? No more competitiveness. Not playing games. So this is the end of some sort of conflict with the Five of Wands reversed. It's the end of a competition, getting what you deserve. You're going to get something that you deserve. This is balance. This is karma, balancing out the scales, and it is in your favor. Something is going to go in your favor. Justice, karma, whatever. You're going to be getting something. And for, Wheel of Fortune is a reward, You've obviously been in some sort of battle. Maybe you're battling right now. You need to let your guard down, perhaps. I think you're probably going to need to let your guard down. Woo, juggling, going back and forth. So, yeah, this is a change as well. So you've been going back and forth in regards to what you want to do. You may have missed the boat or somebody else may have missed the boat. You've been uh, needing to balance. You need to find balance, and, and balance is coming. Okay, this is in the past, this is in the future. So you've been needing balance, you've been needing to make a choice, you've been needing to make a change, and because you're going with it, something good is coming to you. This is exactly what you deserve. You were probably dealing with a player in the past. This is a player. This is a player and this is a player. So you were probably dealing with a player. Somebody was playing with you. Options. Options. You've probably been considering your options. Maybe you've been confused. Maybe you've been in some sort of fantasy land or somebody that you're dealing with has been. This is options, choices. This one is too. And this one. So there's, there's choices here. You're probably going to have multiple options this month. At least two. At least two options, if not more. I think you've been confused. You may be you may be scared of false beginnings because you probably may have made a poor decision in the past. Now you're afraid. And that's why it says it's safe for you to love. You've made a poor decision based maybe on illusion or fantasy, you know. <laughs> but now now you got somebody coming after you. You do. There's some or somebody that is in your picture that uh, <gasps> is emotionally available. This could be love. This could be love. I mean, the Ace of Cups, that is an outpouring of emotion. It's, it's a flood of emotion. It's a new start in love. It's a new love. It's showing affection. It's things getting better. So you're going to, somebody is coming into your life that if you're single, especially, or if you're with somebody, whoever this person is, there is emotional honesty here, okay? There's love, okay, with that Ace of Cups. That is love. I don't know what is going on, Taurus, but whatever is happening, it is meant to be, and whatever is happening is going to go in your favor because the justice is on your side. Karma is on your side. It's time to bring balance. Whatever hasn't been balanced, balance is coming. Now, whoever is, is coming after you is honest and they are truthful. This person is looking for um, equality. They're look, they don't want to play games and they're looking for love. So this person is looking for love. Maybe it's a Libra. Could be a Libra. Um, 
it's spur of the moment. It is spur of the moment. Um, hey man, yeah, you're gonna think about it. Could be a Pisces if that's what you want. Anyhow, um, could be. Um, this is thinking about it. You're really going to be thinking about it. You're going to be thinking about whether you want to go down this path or not. You're going to be, it's like a spur of the moment decision, decision, a spur of the moment choice. And it's going to shape your future. It's going to shape your destiny. So this month you're going to run into somebody or somebody's going to run into you, you know, that could change your destiny. It could change your future. If you are already in a relationship, there could be, I mean, I'm just being honest, that, that Wheel of Fortune is a completion. It's the completion of a cycle. It's the completion of some sort of battle with that Five of Wands. It's the end of a game, right? It's the end of a competition. There's love here. And there could even be self-love with the Ace of Cups. Now, justice is the laws of karma that sees straight through every situation and brings you what you deserve. So this month, you're going to be getting something that you deserve that is going to make you very happy with that Ace of Cups. I don't know, maybe this is a new contract of some sort. Two of Wands reversed can be a sudden arrival, you know, and you got to make a decision, you know, right now, do you want to go or what? You know, and that's why the hangman is here because you're going to be thinking about it, you know. You may need to think about it. You may need to take a time out to open yourself up because it's safe for you to love over here. You may have to think about, you know, <laughs> what, what path you want to go down. So I feel like you are going to be making a def definitely a decision, 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 decision as to what path you want to go down because you're going to somebody, it feels like there's somebody that really is coming after you and they're coming after you very fast. I feel like they're, because it looks like it's very fast. And I feel like they're being cheered on as well. I think I feel like there's some sort of support here. Um, hmm. Ooh, four of cups. Yeah, you're going to be getting an offer of love and you're going to be thinking about it. No doubt about it. You're going to be thinking about it. Do you want it? Do you trust it? Can you trust it? You're interested by the looks of things. I think you're going to be interested in it. You know, this is this is a huge offer of love. The Ace of Cups is right here. It's a it is. This is somebody that uh, karma or destiny that is bringing into your life. Um, and I think that you know you've had some sort of third party situation or some sort of loss, some emotional discontent, and I feel like you've been stalled. You've been stagnant. You've been staying put. And I feel like there's overwhelming anxiety or worry or indecisiveness here. And you're going to be basically looking somebody right in the face. You know, somebody is going to be right there saying to you, you know, will you give me a chance? I feel like you meet this person spontaneously. You know, or or if you maybe you already met this, I don't think you met this person at a dating site, put it that way. I feel like you meet this person, you know, uh, maybe at your work or on some sort of trip or, you know, through a vehicle, you know, I don't know why I feel because of that tire could have to do with some sort of vehicle situation. Um, maybe at a bank even, I'm trying to think where else near the water, could be near the water. It feels like you meet this person uh, suddenly, could be on a hike, you know, I don't know if it's on a hike, you're out and out and about walking um, and you're, it's just, it feels like there's some sort of uh, offer. You're definitely getting an offer or an invite from somebody that, you know, you're going to be thinking about this month. You're going to be thinking about this love offer for sure. A new start in love. Oh, it could lead to marriage. Well, son of a gun. It could. This could be marriage. It could be a marriage proposal for some of you. You know, it could be dealing with another Taurus. This is about commitment. Somebody may be wanting to get into a commitment. You And it could be very sudden. So you may be, 
deepening a bond with somebody or getting engaged or you are engaged or meeting somebody out of the blue where it leads to a, a long-term commitment. And the tarot font is about faith. So you're going to need to have faith and believe. You know, there's a higher power here. There's, a, there's destiny and there's a higher power. So this is a destined change, of course. And it's because you're allowing it. Okay? I feel like you've missed the boat for a while. You've been confused. You've been in some sort of illusion. You may have made some poor decisions which have caused you to be unbalanced. And it's because you stop fighting or you stop playing the game. That's when destiny steps in, you know, and brings you what you deserve. So you're about to get what you deserve. You are. Ooh, look at that. Knight of Swords on the bottom. You know, that is somebody rushing in. And by that, by the looks of that uh, wheel of fortune, you know, that's that's in a hurry as well. So I feel like there's somebody that is going to be chasing after you. They don't want to let you go, you know, or they, they, they want your attention. This is somebody that is very direct, very honest, knows what they want, and there's no stopping them. I feel like it's an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it's not somebody who is wishy-washy. This is somebody who knows what they want. They see what they want and they go get it. This is somebody who, you know, takes action. So I feel like there is somebody that is rushing into your life. This is like a knight in shining armor and I don't like to say that. This is somebody that is, that is uh, very assertive and communicative. This person communicates well. So you got somebody that is going to be, uh, I feel like pursuing you. All right. And I feel like this person, uh, <sighs> is very protective, very, very protective, very decisive, um, thinks fast and you're going to need to think fast. It's almost like this person sees you. I feel like this person sees you and they, they're, they're like, that's what I want. I'm going to do whatever it takes. This is very fast paced energy. So I think that things are going to happen fast for you in February. And you may, you may need to let go of those past hurts like I talked about at the beginning. The Three of Swords reversed. You've suffered right? You've been hurt, you've been heartbroken, whatever. It's time to move on from them past hurts and open your heart, okay? You've, you've done a lot of healing with the Three of Swords reverse. You've done a lot of healing. Maybe it's time to open your heart again and believe and have faith in a new, new commitment. So Taurus, I feel as though a very positive, uh, a very positive outcome here. Put it that way. Something is about to go in your favor. If you're going to court for any reason, it's going to go in your favor. There's a higher power involved with the Hierophant card that is bringing you what you deserve. I can see that you're very interested. Don't let your mind play games with on you. The hey man is mind games. Time to let something go. Stop hanging on to whatever has kept you held back. Just let it go. Because you have an opportunity here for love that is big. Good luck.